Welcome everyone, today in this video I'm going to show you some small adjustments you should do when recording your Wii games on the Elgato software. As well, just remember that I only have the Elgato HC60S for my capture card. As well, I'm going to leave a video on how to record your Wii games with the Elgato device, as well as a playlist for my other how-to videos on how to record some of your other retro console games. So right now, the first thing you need to do is to make sure you go into your Wii console and make sure that your widescreen settings is at 16 by 9. I don't recommend keep it at 4 by 3 if you do play GameCube games. But if you're mostly going to play Wii games, you mostly want to keep it at 16 by 9 because mostly almost every Wii game is at 480p. As well, make sure your TV resolution is as well at 480p. Because the way I have everything connected is through a converter box, which is from Porta. And basically, if you do switch it to 480i, the Elgato device will not recognize the audio at all because it does not like interlace, which is the I right here. So unfortunately, with Elgato, they only like progressive scans. So make sure that you have everything at 480p for your Wii game. But other than that, those are the two that you need to do for your Wii settings. And now we're going to move on over to right here on the Elgato software. Now, as you can see from the main screen, it should look like this all the time. Now, if it doesn't look like this, what you need to do, and this is the last thing that you're basically going to do, is go right here to stretch standard definition input, select it. And as you can see, if you unselect it, as you can see, it goes back to this four by three aspect ratio. And you don't really want that because since we're having everything at, of course, 16 by nine, you want everything to be full screen, of course. So you go to click it one more time. And as you can see, everything is back to normal. And even if you check right now on your television, it should be full screen. You do have the TV at 16 by 9 for your picture size. Make sure you have stretch standard definition input selected for your Wii games. As well as for convert standard definition, you can keep it on or off. It doesn't really matter because no matter how many times I switch this, it doesn't really impact anything. Just one last thing is that you're going to have some black bars right here on the right and the left side. Unfortunately, I think that has to do with the Elgato software itself and not the resolution of the Wii system itself. But you need to make these adjustments in your video NT software to make sure that everything looks full screen. It doesn't take that long, guys, but if you do see black bars right here, as you can see, yeah, you might need to adjust it in your video NT software. But that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you make everything full screen for your Wii console games. And it's pretty simple, pretty easy. It's just this little button right here to stretch standard definition input. And that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. As well, comment down below on what other games or maybe what other consoles I should do to record on the Elgato device on how to do it. As well, share with some of your friends if they want to learn on how to record their Wii games on the Elgato. Share this video as well as for the video down in the description. As well, check out my Twitter and my community page for updates. But other than that, keep on playing. Game for life, guys. See you later.